We're going to show some video of them in just a moment, but uh, for people that don't really understand what they are, can you kind of explain what they are and what you think this deal means for the entire industry? Absolutely. Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft utilize zero fuel to, uh, to move goods and people through the air. And the neat thing about electric aviation is it provides the energy density in the batteries and the power density in the motors to take off and land vertically, which is a new paradigm in aviation. We can move point to point, goods, people, medical supplies, and, uh, and that's a big step function change for the entire industry as we're tracking towards a zero emissions future for aviation. And this deal with UPS is clearly a, a huge deal for beta, but for the entire industry, it telegraphs the reality of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft coming to a, a massive player in the logistics world. So, Kyle, I know you're focusing on commercial vehicles to start. Uh, just to clarify, these vehicles, they basically take off like a helicopter. They fly like a plane. Uh, we're showing pictures so people can't see the full scope of what they can do. But when we're talking about the commercial world, what is the full range of usage for this type of vehicle? We know UPS is thinking about package delivery. Where else do you think this can go? Look, there's, there's obviously logistics, package delivery, passenger, medical, those are the things that helicopters and planes serve now. But the neat thing about an entirely new paradigm in aviation is we don't know all the applications. And as we bring this new technology that has a two to five X reduction in cost, it un unleashes a number of applications that we haven't even thought about yet. And when we do that with a quiet, sustainable tool, the customer adoption is real and it's there. So for UPS, the batteries for your EVITALs will be compatible with arrival uh, EV trucks that they're going to use for package delivery. In the future, is there going to be one just general battery? I mean, is this something that we're going to see more widespread throughout the industry of electric commercial vehicles? Yeah, of course, batteries in general. Everybody wants high energy density, reliability, long cycle life. The compatibility is mostly on the charging end, where the same charging infrastructure can be used for the aircraft and the package cars so that they utilize that same handoff point and get recharged or refueled uh, at the same spot. Well, there's been some drama in the flying airspace uh, space recently. Whisk, that's the Kitty Hawk Boeing JV accusing rival Archer of a brazen theft of confidential information and IP. What did you make of Archer's, you know, what some say very quick arrival on the scene? And do you think that we'll see more of this kind of infighting lawsuits as the industry takes off and we get closer to that commercial use? Yeah, of course. I mean, there's a lot of momentum in the industry. Here at Beta, we're really focused on, uh, really focused on delivering a pragmatic and in intensely reliable propulsion system an aircraft for these fleet customers and, and focused on the sustainability mission. There's a lot of smart people at Boeing, at Archer, at Joby, working towards the same eventual mission. It'll all sort itself out, but, uh, but we're just here focused on flying, test flying, and delivering these to UPS. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.